Hello there. I'd like to take a few minutes to tell you about the adjustable Huna lure. First we have the headpiece. This is the nose piece. It has a bullet nose on one end and a slant face on the other end which screws into the head. Here I have marked the nose and head where there are no threads. When these are lined up, water runs through the channels to the four jetting holes on the outside. And when not lined up, the jets are off. Start screwing the nose in by hand. Then using the long ends of the tool, you can adjust how far to screw it in to get different effects. With the nose extended, you get a bullet type lure. As you continue screwing the nose in, the lure starts to catch a bit of water for a different swimming action. And when screwed all the way in, it will catch a lot of water like a concave face lure. I strongly suggest when you're done fishing with the Huna lure, you immediately remove the nose piece and clean everything with fresh water. If salt and small particles of sand are allowed to dry around the threads and you screw the nose in and out, it would be like having a piece of sandpaper in there, and that would not be good. The black part of the eye is about the bottom of the inner chamber. With the nose extended out, there is room for some chum or other type of fish scent. This is the screw for attaching the skirt. You always want to use the short end of the tool for tightening and loosening the screw. If you turn the nose around, you can have the slant face forward for another type of swimming action. Again, using the long ends of the tool, screw the nose in and out for different swimming actions. Here again, you can line up the grooves for jets on or misalign for jets off. Next, I'll show you how to change the skirts. Here we have the green outer skirt and a purple inner skirt. I'll show you how to reverse them without cutting the hook off. The first thing you want to do is secure the hook. Then open up the skirts using the short end of the tool, loosen and remove the screw. Separate the skirts, then pull the skirts over the screw. Once that is done, push the hook or hooks through the skirt to completely remove the skirts. Now we want to have the purple skirt on the outside, so put it on the hook first, then the green one. Again, you will want to secure the hook. Now put the skirts back over the screw. It helps if you squeeze the skirt a little bit to flatten it out. Once that is done, open up the purple skirt and insert the green skirt. Push it in as far as you can without putting a wrinkle in it. Then you want to open up both skirts so you have a clear opening for the screw. Push it in and grab the threads. Center the screw threads in the opening while firmly holding the skirts right behind the head of the screw. Reattach the head to the screw. You can get it pretty tight by hand. Then open up the skirts and finish tightening using the short ends of the tool. And you can tighten the screw so much that something will break. So check the skirts for tighten as you go until you get a feel for it. Give it a shake or two and get all the strands and hook lying nice and straight. If you want to, you can dress it with a ballyhoo or strip bait and you're ready to go. Thanks for watching and good luck.